Good morning and welcome to another edition of Relevant News. Today is March 28, 2014. U.S. targets Russia with further sanctions. The United States is continuing to ratchet up its low-intensity sanctions regime against Russia, introducing measures that include a ban on exporting defense items and services to Russia to pressure Moscow over recent events in the Ukraine. The United States State Department spokesman Maria Hoff told a news conference Thursday that the latest sanctions followed by a Commerce Department ban on the export to Russia of dual-use items that potentially have military applications. The State Department has placed a hold on the assurance of licenses that would authorize the export of defense articles and defense services to Russia. Australian authorities shift focus of MH370 search as new clues emerge. Australian authorities said Friday that they were shifting the focus of their Indian Ocean search for the wreckage of Malaysia's missing airliner, moving the effort more than 600 miles to the north after receiving a new clue from Malaysian investigators. Does this issue seem to have more cluster Fs than you would ever believe? It seems like there's more uh, we found wreckage, we found this, we found that. Um, folks, this this may very well be a uh, excellent conspiracy theory in the making with uh, all the things that have happened in this missing air flight. Keep your eye on this one. Ukraine says 100,000 Russian troops near border. Nearly 100,000 Russian forces have massed on the Ukrainian border, a top Ukrainian defense official told an American audience Thursday, giving a number far higher than U.S. military estimates. Almost 100,000 soldiers are stationed on the border of Ukraine in the in direction of Ukraine's National Security Council said via a webcast from Kiev. Russian troops are not in Crimea only. They are along Ukrainian borders. They are in the south, they are in the east, and they in the no are in the north. Parubia said. After its intervention in Crimea Peninsula, Russia is plotting to form a separatist sentiment elsewhere, and Kiev fears a possible incursion in the country's east, he told the Atlantic Council, a Washington think tank. More posturing going on by Russia, and more news, negative news coming out of the United States. I still stand neutral on this issue, and uh, my feeling is is that Russia is uh, acting in support of the people that live in Crimea. And folks, big news for Sitchin supporters and Planet X Nibiru people out there. Astronomers may have discovered an enormous new planet at the edge of the solar system. Discovering a new icy dwarf planet past Pluto, two astronomers are reporting in the journal Nature that a larger planet may be concealed in the outer limits of the solar system. National Geographic reports that the newly discovered dwarf planet named 2000 BP 113, nicknamed Biden, and located more than 800 million miles away from the sun, has an orbit that seems to be affected by another mystery, mystery planet predicted to be 2 to 10 times heavier than the Earth. The same mystery planet also possibly stretched out of the orbit of Sedna, an object the size of a dwarf planet discovered 10 years ago. To all intents and purposes, in the current architecture of the solar system, Sedna and 2012 VP113 should not be there, astronomer Megan Schwam of Toan's Academy in Sinkia said in a commentary in Nature. This suggests that Sedna and 2012 VP113 are the tip of the iceberg. This is very exciting news for those people who uh, hold that there's a big planet out there. Now all we need to do is hear about the Anunnaki living on there. That's all for today, folks. Have a wonderful day. Keep your eyes open. And be sure to root for U of L in the game tonight.